Welcome to the November Monthly Briefing. And first of all, a warm welcome to our new chair, Charlotte Hitchings. Charlotte brings a wealth of experience relating to the delivery of mental health services, most recently in Together Trust. She's also held senior management positions in BT and O2 and runs her own executive coaching company. We're very fortunate and pleased to welcome her to our trust and Charlotte will be meeting many of you over the coming months. The next message relates to finance. Last time, we reported our financial situation and this is a continuing area for our absolute focus. Since last month, we've managed to reduce our monthly overspend by £100,000, but it's still an overspend of roughly £600,000 per month. It's a first good small step but we're still spending more than we have in income. And so there are a number of schemes being run through the Trust, through the Project Management Office, and these will help us to reduce our reliance on agency and bank staff, reduce our out-of-area placements, and maximise efficiencies in our teams. We are also managing our vacancies and we scrutinise every request. And we will continue to feed back to you on our money and our progress. In the meantime, if you would like more information, ask a senior manager in your area or a team manager for more information or take a look at our board papers. And please keep bringing forward your ideas for how we can reduce costs. And now for some important good news messages. There are so many positive things to say about our care and about our staff members. First of all, awards. AWP staff and some trust projects have won a number of recent national awards, which is really great, impressive news. First of all, in the NHS Southwest Leadership Recognition Awards, Dr Mary Griggs won the Leadership for Service Innovation and Improvement Award and was also shortlisted for a second award. Wendy Kelvin won the Leading and Developing People Award and very well done to both of them. In the Care Coordination Association Good Practice Awards 2016, the Rucksack Project and our Creative Writing Project both won the Embracing Service User and Carer Involvement Awards. And three of our teams, that is Research and Development, North Somerset Community Teams and Bristol Mental Health have been shortlisted for Health Service Journal Awards and we really look forward to hearing the outcome when it's announced later this month. And now for the Community Mental Health Survey results. Results in the 2015-16 Community Mental Health Survey showed that we are continuing, continuing to improve the care that we provide in the community. Many of the scores show a further improvement over last year. AWP is rated as better than expected for the treatments category and better than other mental health trusts when people were asked questions about three specific areas. We're also getting better at making sure that people know who to contact out of hours. And more people said that they are definitely getting the help they need from crisis care, although there is still room for improvement. What I'm particularly pleased about is that the overall patient experience score went up from 6.9 to 7.2. The numbers don't matter too much and may not sound like much of a difference, but it's really important that we know how we perform compared to other trusts and the best score in the country was 7.5. There was an improved response rate of 32%. That means that 265 people from a final sample of 822 responded and more people, more young people than last year took part. The age group most satisfied with their care 
were those over age 66. So thank you very much to all of you in our community teams for the work that you're doing to improve service user and care experience. There will not be a monthly briefing in December, so I will see you again in January 2017.